It is now time to take a look at some of the tools in Excel. Some of these might be also tools available in Google Docs, but we're going to focus the remainder of this tutorial on Excel. And I'll try to mention the ones that I know for sure are in Google Docs. I'll, I'll try to mention that as well. As well. First of all, we're going to uh, discuss how to sort and I will be, I'm taking a look at my HOSTA list, which I have copied and pasted into this spreadsheet 2013 list. And I am have the column B sorted. I'm gonna be sorting this by code. So as you see, when I hover over each column, I get a downward arrow and that's how I select a column. The sort feature is on the home tab. So it's by default the first thing that shows up, the home tab shows up. When you open the program and you click on sort, it gives you some options, custom sort, smallest to largest. I am going to just stick with smallest to sort, smallest to largest. It's going to ask me if I want to expand the selection and you always want to do that in these instances. If you don't, it will jumble up your entries and getting back to it. The only way to get back to it is hit undo or close it without saving. So I'm going to go ahead and sort with the expanded selection and there you see that I have the number of hostas I own listed. Not too many, but I also have them coded by green, the ones that I own. They're in green, red, if that's a red petiole, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So here we have it sorted, and as you see, my count is listed here on the far left. That's how many I have, have of each, so I actually should go into a few of these and change them. For instance, June, I have two June. So there you see I have it sorted by the code. My hostas, I don't have any letter in front of them. Those are my uh, group that I just have a number, hookers I have H, 1, 2, 3, and so on. But with hostas, that was my main uh, focus, so I just left the code a straight number. Now the count, again, lets me know that I have one of each. The code will be connected to an actual spreadsheet that is map-based, and I'll show you how to, to do that in just a second. There is a feature down below uh, that may be helpful to you and by selecting the column A, as you see, I have the entire column selected. I don't see the bottom of my spreadsheet. I didn't have to sort. I could unsort this and it would still pick up every entry or every number I have in there. And on the bottom of Excel, you see that we have some information that it provides and one of the things it does provide is count or sum and 126 is the count so it picks up every time so if you have five of a certain plant which I you know I have a few duplicates in here I haven't recorded it will pick that up and it will let you know how many you have so it's kind of a handy little option down on the bottom average doesn't apply to this count and some do and so you can use that instead of like I said scrolling down to see where you're at what number you're at sorting the column code column is helpful though when you want to apply a new number so let's say I owned skelet potatoes which is really interesting that ended up being the next one and I think the reason is Nope, there's not a space in front, but that would be a reason or a way that you would know that things aren't alphabetizing. So I'd have to dig in a little deeper and figure out why scalp potatoes did not sort appropriately, actually, if I sorted it again. Sort smallest to largest, expand the selection. And there, it's still there, so i got to, you know, just take a look and see uh, what's going on with that. But generally, it will... Everything else should be alphabetical. It's counted. I did the code, 1 through 25. I counted. I saw that I had 126 hostas with 
again needing I know I have two whirlwinds too so I could adjust that but um, again that so that will show that I have 127 listed so anyway these, these are just some helpful ways of knowing where you're at how many hostas you have per the count uh, what code you should have here by sorting by code you can add your next one let's say I have um, have a red skin so I would add 126 to that even though my count's 127 my code would be 126 and you could actually change that too so that you would set up if you have two of these then you would break it into two lines and to do that which is a good time to introduce or suggest this is not just copying the cell from here over but it would be to copy from the grade area where it says 122 here let's go back to first column so 122 you'd right mouse click first left mouse click then right mouse click and copy and then you would right mouse click on the next line and insert copied cell you don't want to paste because that would paste the information over the top of the information below so inserting a copied cell would retain Wolverine so I didn't copy over the top of it which would a paste would do that but by right, right mouse clicking and inserting copy cell you would have that information in there and I think what I would do since my numbering is set up and I know that I've I would kinda like to keep these two together as far as numbers I might do 121 a or let's say B because by default 121 would be considered A and so this would be your B or your second one change these numbers each to one so that you get a better that and so it so that you have more you can change your count and get it accurate and then your code since whirlwind 121 is probably not planted next to 121 B I can identify their location so let's move on to that and find one that's already been hyperlinked to the spreadsheet 